Hello, good afternoon, I am Luter FM. Um, thanks for coming back and watching. Much appreciated, I appreciate the support, as always. Um, so let me just clear something up with this. So basically, um, episode 30 and episode 31 of this series of the Rake Rover Save, um, I decided to, um, even though afterwards I realised that there was an echo, um, I still decided to upload them. But then I thought afterwards, after uploading them, there was another one or two episodes, um, episode the original episode 32 and 33, that were also going to have Echo on them. And I thought four episodes of Constant Echo is just going to put people off. Um, so I have decided not to um, post them. I've turned episode 34 into episode 32. So this will be technically episode 33. Um, I've highlighted the games that you didn't get to see. Uh, as you can tell, we were on a disaster of a run. With, and then the last episode that I've uploaded today that you should be able to see. Um, in this. Um, so basically before that, we obviously we, we lost. We drew three, four games and lost two. So it wasn't the best of run. So these are the games I highlighted that you missed on the two previous episodes that I decided not to upload. Just so you can get an idea of what's happened um i apologize again for the double echo i didn't realize until it was too late um but yeah it is what it is there's nothing i can do about it now so i've i've instead of giving you four episodes of constant echo i've only given you two so i'm recording two extra episodes today that will be going out on saturday and sunday so yeah so here we go so these are the games that you'll uh that you would have seen in the last episode the one with no more echo so we won two games and lost two. Um, I didn't, I was, um, yeah, so basically that's that. So we've got Hibs next, Dundee United, and then we've got Greenwich Morton in the Scottish Cup fourth round. So if I just quickly show you the Scottish Championship at the moment, we're currently seventh, which I suppose is realistic considering. Um, we were as high as second for quite a bit. If I just show you, we, we started really well so i mean obviously the league cup doesn't really count but like when you think about it, you look at this we won one two three we won four out of the five scottish premiership games in the first month of the uh, season and then we won another we drew one and won one and then we obviously in the league cup again and then we won one and then we just went on this disaster of a run where we just couldn't get a win in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in 10 games we didn't get any wins and then we got two wins in a row so i thought oh we turn things around and then we lost the two last two games so god knows what's going to happen next but yeah we've got hibs now hope you're all okay hope you're having a nice week um as i'm recording this it, this is um sorry we are now in the weekend so i hope you're all having a nice weekend so far uh we're getting closer and closer to the spring and summertime so yeah i wore shorts today for the first time ever it was too cold for shorts but i am a weirdo who wears shorts most of the year round even when it's particularly cold it has to be really cold for me to wear like tracky bottoms for instance or jogging bottoms but anyway right we've got Rusin goal dabo welsh ramirez and salah edini in defense fleck and ball in the middle of the midfield Maldini on the right, De Hander in attacking midfield position, Muscovy on the left, and Hoyland up front. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully we can start this episode with a good result. But we are playing Hibs and they are very good. Especially because they have this player here, Eli Yuan, who would be a dream transfer for me to sign for Rafe Rovers. Maybe in time I will sign him. If Hoyland carries on, he's out, he's, he'll be out the door. I'll be bloody cashing in on him. Right, first highlight of the game. Our corner, Fleck. Loops it up. Ooh, just over. Just, I think the goalkeeper got something on that. No, he didn't. Just over the bar. Oh my God, Hoyland's knackered already after 25 minutes. Right, Maldini with the free kick. I don't think we're going to do much with this, but we'll see. 
It was a good little pass to Dander. Now what can Dander do? Crosses it. Oh, Hoyland with the header that just misses. I don't really particularly want to take Hoyland off, but I feel like I've got no choice at this rate. Right, Maldini with the free kick. Oh! If that was his dad, his dad would have scored that. Oh, sorry. I was trying to do something on the webcam there. Sorry about that. It's, it's alright, my webcam's tilted a bit. There we go. That's better. Ah, technical issues, everyone. Sorry about that. Right. There we go. I probably will take Hoyland off in the second half. Hopefully he'll get a bit of a rest at half-time. Nah, I'm going to have to take him off, unfortunately. We'll put Uchi on. Um, just to let you all know, um, at the moment on Twitch, I'm mostly doing um, TEW 2020, which is a wrestling management simulator game content. But I will be going back to doing FM content on a Friday. So most Fridays, I will be doing a save in Uganda. So I am going to... Um, there's a team called SC Vipers in Uganda. I'm going to play as them, but I'm also going to be the Ugandan national team manager. So, it'll be a fun little save. 1-0, uh, good, that's good. Um, but yeah, it'll be a fun little save I'll do once a week on a Friday on Twitch from 2pm till probably 4, half 4. So, feel free to come along and watch me on Twitch. Um, www.twitch.tv forward slash lucha, L-U-C-H-A, F-M. Oh, which Uchi, you should have done better than that. Um, but yeah, the more the merrier. We do have, I have a few people at the moment. It's a, small, it's a very small community on Twitch. I have mostly about like four or five people, one of them being one of my best mates, Josh. Um, so we usually play, we usually play TW 2020, and I usually, and I'm currently um, in charge of WWE booking, uh, booking WWE. So, yeah, so we try and do that as a community effort together. But um, I was missing doing a bit of FM content for Twitch. Um, I wasn't getting many people watching on Twitch on the FM stuff because I think, there's, there's, to be honest, there's a lot of people doing football manager content. Oh, I think we've just conceded a penalty. Ah, oh, we were doing so well as well. Um, so I decided to switch it up and do some TW stuff as it's a bit more niche um, and it, it's doing quite well. So, I'm getting quite a few... Ah, that's a booker. One more. Getting quite a few people in there. That is a cool name. Fermana Quizera. Right, I'm going to add him to the shortlist just in case. I'll scout him. Um, but yeah, come along. Join us on Twitch if you like If you like chatting about football, football manager, wrestling. Um, or just... You just want to... I mean, I had one person on my Twitch who was... Um, he told me that he recently just broke up with his girlfriend literally a week after she moved into his flat. So we we're getting we we're getting all sorts of drama going on. So feel free to join in. I can give you some relationship advice and stuff like that if you want, or life advice. I'm an old bugger now, I'm nearly forty. So yeah. But, um one one. Better than a loss. Better than a loss. Right, we've got a game quite quickly, haven't we? Dundee United. Oh. Oh, that's fine. That's nothing to worry about. Connolly left. Uh, should be taken off the transfer list. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. Uh, no, I don't think that's... So we'll take Dander off the transfer list. In fact, sorry, we'll do it this way. Sorry about this. Right. Yep, so we'll take you off the transfer list. Uh, are you on the loan list? No, good. Right, happiness. And we'll do squad player. You're staying on the transfer list. Uh, we'll take you off the transfer list. Actually, do you know what? I quite like Diarte. So I'm just going to take them all off the transfer list. Right, Musqui is currently seen as an important player, but I recommend checking. No, I'm not doing that. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Fine. Okay. 
a lot of these are just rubbish but I'm just doing it slowly so you lot can read it because I know some of you like reading these things um, right so do we need to give them a telling off oh, I'm doing it anyway didn't work though right we've got Dundee United next Aziz you're not happy okay it's a shame we'll have to get rid of Aziz because I like him, he's a good player. But we can't have unhappy players here because it just disrupts the whole squad. It, it shouldn't be called football manager, it should be called keeping up morale manager. It is ridiculous. Ooh, blast from the past he is, Edda Volante. Remember him on FM, everyone? Um, I'll take him off the shortlist though, he's a bit too old, I think. Uh, George Honeymoon, Honeyman, sorry. See if we can get him in. We can, good. Beer off, can we get Beer off in? No, we can't, that's a shame. Uh, he'd be a good quality right back to have. Yeah, we'll bring you in. Jordi Alba's son doesn't want to come to us, I can understand that. Max Power, we'll bring him in. Former Celtic Wonder Kid, we can't bring you in. What about you? Yep. Uh, see if we can bring you in. And then finally you. There we go. I love a freebie, me. Hopefully that will help uh, improve our team in the next season. You never know. We might If we've got the cash, we might be able to buy some now. Ah. So Honeymoon... Or Rafael's has had their contract extended. You can understand why they do that. Oh yeah, we brought this guy in. Uh, pretty good central midfielder from Argentina. You know, like a South American in Scotland. So he'll be coming in the 1st of January. So literally tomorrow or the day after. So that's good. An immediate improvement. He can be the replacement for Aziz, the way it's going. He's definitely an upgrade on Fleck, I reckon. I will miss Fleck though when he goes though, because he's just been here so long now, he's become part of the furniture. Similar to um, like Alioski and um, Colin Faze, Collins Faye, or whatever his name is. At the time, I get attached to these players and I think you do when you do a lower league save. I think when you do like a big premiership save, because you because uh, you bring it, you sell and buy players all the time so quickly, you don't really get attached to many of the players there. So it's a bit soulless in a way. That's why I don't particularly like doing big, uh, big club saves. Right, um, uh, Rosler's in defence instead of whoever it was. I can't remember. Diarte's back as left back. Aziz is in midfield. With ball. Lawrence is on the right. Deli Ali's playing. Vaughan's playing. Hoyland's playing. Let's go. Some more favourites playing. All playing at the same time. Hopefully Hoyland might actually score. Oh, look at him. He's knackered. He's going he's gonna to have to come off at our time again. I'm going to have to rest him, I think. Send him on holiday for a week. Oh. Uh, nothing. Oh, great. Here we go. Red card, maybe? Oh, no. Injury. That's all right. Dabo back in the team. Gets injured straight away. Typical. Right, first highlight is to them. They've got a corner. Oh, that's not that's not the best of stance, is it? Uh. Hoyland knackered after twenty nine minutes. Unbelievable and bloody dominant ball. What are these lads doing? I don't particularly like taking players off so early in case we get injuries further on in the game. Oh my god, he just that was just he just ran past us like they were nothing. What is going on? The decline is beginning again. Alright, they've got another highlight. I think this is going to be um, a convincing victory for the United. Look at that. 
We wish we could pass like that. Another corner for them. They're pretty good at scoring from set pieces by the looks of it. Ooh. Very close to getting another one there. Right, Uchi's on. Oh, we're going to have to take Dominic Ball off as well. There you go, put Yale Ball on. Another highlight to them. Can we get anything out of this game? Probably not. They get another goals game over, innit? We ain't got... I don't think we've got any in to get three goals in a game. Oh, good, good interception there. Go on, Lawrence. You can pick out a pass. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, go on then. Go on, Diate. You're back in the team now. You need to prove that you deserve to be in the team. Yes, get in. One, two, one. Good. Good, that's good. Just before the first half finishes, we've got back in the game now. Super sub Uchi. Who's also Ugandan. So for the people who are gonna be doing are gonna be watching me on Twitch, you will see a lot more about Uchi. Because he'll be Uganda's main man, I think. Uh let's have a quick look at their Sorry, I know I'm getting sidetracked here. I love that flag. Look at that flag. I can't wait to do um thumbnails for YouTube using this flag. It's gonna be Beautiful, right. So if we look at the main men here, base it on their value, UG. Uh I've only ever heard of I don't I think other than him, Toby Sibic. And that's only because he's playing in England. Oh I think I've heard of Beavis Mugabe, I think he plays with Dundee United or something in real life. I think that's it though. There's no other players. But that's what makes it exciting. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna you I'm gonna basically use the the team that I've got in Uganda, I'm going to use them to produce more and more Ugandan national team ready players and then also hopefully sell them to um, clubs in Europe so then Uganda can get a bigger presence in Europe and um, stuff like that. So it's going to be a long term save for the rest of FM24, I think. Um, I did do a Barcelona bring in Messi back save, but as soon as I brought Messi back, I kind of was just like, yeah. Right, we've got a uh, penalty. Vaughan is knackered though. He scores though, good. 2-2, two, two. but I'm going to take you off. Oh, I can't take you off, Vaughan. Sorry, mate, you're just going to have to limp on, I think. But yeah, we've done well to get this back. I wasn't expecting this. I thought we'd just lose. We still might though. Uh, no, I can't take him off. But yeah, we've done really well to get back. If we stay, if it stays 2-2, two, two, I'll be alright with that. I don't want to lose though. Especially now we've got it back. I want to try and get 6th place, to be honest. Yeah, we can't make any more subs, unfortunately. we just got to hope for the best here. Good. Good comeback there. Oh, we've done well. Well done, lads. Davo's out for 9 weeks. Warren's out for 4 or 5 days. 5 or 6 days, sorry. Uh, when's the next match? Right, then. I've got a hell of a, a gap before next match, so I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Thank you. And we're back for the second part of the episode. Um, let's just go through the inbox items. Like I said, there's quite a lot because we had to forward uh, 17 days. Uh, I should have tried to sign in. Oh, well. Um, oh, let's have a look at this supporters profile. 72k followers, that's not too bad. So we've got this guy in on loan. Pretty good player. Dabrowski's left again. Uh, he didn't do well in his second stint here, he didn't play. But I assigned him for some nostalgia because he, I, enjoy, I, I really liked him when he was there before, but he wanted to leave. So we sold him and then we brought him back. And then we sold him. So, yeah. Uh, we've signed a couple of other South Americans. We've got a Colombian goalkeeper. Juan Diego. God's sake, my mouse is playing up today. Uh, Juan Diego Castillo. So, yeah. Very, very good by the looks of it. Especially for Scottish Premiership standards, I think. Uh, and then, obviously, another good, another decent central midfielder. South American, Argentina. So they're happy with that. We got rid of Forrest. Got rid of Kieran Mitchell. 
I bet our wage budget is not very good at the moment. The DOF has gone for a player called Darren Boyle. We'll see how that goes. Do we have a runner? Hoyland got somehow Hoyland got runner up in the young player of the month, even though he got no goals and no assists and a six point five one rating. That's weird. Gary Rue continues to improve. Very good. 17 years old. We're going to make a lot of money on him when it's all said and done. I need to take him off the loan list though. Uh, we signed another goalkeeper. I don't know why our DOF signed another goalkeeper, but yeah. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, we signed him in the summer. So we're coming in the summer. Can we sign him now? No, we can't. But anyway, a decent one. Didn't cost us anything. Max Powers come in. Well, he will be. Can we bring him in now? Oh, we can. Ah, we haven't got the money. Ah, well. So we'll be in in the summer. Oh, it's when I think of Max Power, I always think of one, the I think it was a magazine, car magazine or something. I can't remember. And two, um, the Simpsons episode where Homer changes his name to Max Power or something on that lines. I can't remember. But yeah, always makes me laugh. Can we bring him in? No. So we've, we've signed him. He's coming in in the summer, but we can't buy him now. Um, Brentford have recalled Balakum. Try and go through these as quickly as possible. We have signed somebody on loan. Niall Ennis. Striker from Wolves, I think. Oh, he used to play for Wolves, didn't he? Went to Plymouth, did all right at Plymouth, went to Blackburn, didn't do necessarily well there. And we brought bringing him in our loan. Hopefully we can turn his fortunes around. Somebody wants to loan in a player, so we'll just send him out. Uh, he had a work permit declined. I hate it when they recommend all these players that I can't sign. It's really annoying. Oh, Rocky. I remember you. That was it, Hearts. It was, well, yeah, it was Hearts that we brought him in from. I know it was Celtic, sorry. And then he went to Hearts. Can we bring him in on loan? No, we can't. Can we buy him? Probably not. We'll leave it. I probably haven't got the wage budget anyway. Oh, Daly Alley. We had an offer for Daly Alley, but Ross County. Is he for, is he is he transolisted? Oh, he is transolisted. We don't want him transolisted because we want him here. But he wants to leave. Right, so we brought Ennis in. Rue's out for two weeks with a virus. Jesus Christ, what virus has he got? He looks like a good player for the future from Hamilton. How much is he? Uh, we can't make an offer for him. He's going to Bayern Munich. That's why. They're snapping up all the Scottish good players here. We need to get them players in before Bayern Munich get them. Right. So... Jileo managed to get a work permit, so he's coming in in in, uh, in the summer. Can we buy him now? No, we can't. We haven't got the money. We've got no bloody money. Oliver Burke. Can we bring you in? We can. Good. can't believe he's only 25. I feel like he's been playing for years and years. Jack Henry would be a good player to bring in. Former Celtic and Club Bruges player. Still got quite a lot of inbox items to go. Uh, if we're bringing in Jack, then I'll accept that loan offer for Ramirez, I think. I want to try and get more Scottish players in, to be honest. Oh, Kelly Ruse is injured for a few days, that's alright. 
So we've got uh, Glenn Middleton in for the season. If he impresses us, we can sign him for 425 grand. But Thomas Ince is back from injury. That'll be good. That'll be a boost. Because he started really well at the, at the start of the season. Then he just kind of just went and then got injured. Uh, yep, that's fine. So we got a new assistant manager in. I didn't know we needed one, but yeah. Josh Bowler will be coming in in summer as well. Oh, Michael. He's a. I remember him being a decent wonder kid a couple of years ago. He'd be a good signer for us. John Swift. I'm signing loads of players here, and yet the wage is just letting me. They're just letting me do it. So I thought my wage budget was really bad, but maybe it's not now. I think it will be, though, if I check this. I don't know how they're still letting me keep doing it, but yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're going to be like. 65 grand over our wage budget. Unbelievable. Uh, see if I can get a new contract. Can we bring any? No. Right, so we got through that all right. Hopefully, if we go on a decent run in the Scottish Cup, which is coming up next, we can get some more cash on that because you get a hell of a lot of money for the Scottish Cup with the file that I've got. Right then, let's have a look. We've got some uh, new new players in the team here. So we've got Schofield. Why have we got him in goal? Have oh, we got such an injury crisis at the moment? No, Castillo can start. So we're going to have Castillo in goal. He's going to, I think, play his first game for us. I could be wrong. Uh, Swanson is right back. Welsh and Warner in defence with Salah Adine on the left. Rios... And Aziz, so Rios will be making his debut. Middleton will be making his debut. Deli Ali in the middle, just behind Ennis. Uh, Maldini on left, and obviously Ennis is making his debut up front. Where's Hoyland? Has Hoyland been shown? Oh, he's not even on the subs bench. Ooh, that can't be good. Maybe because it's a cup game, maybe the assistant manager has automatically rotated the team, but we'll see. Let's see if we can beat them. I hope we can beat them because the more money we get in the club, the more improvements we can make, the better players we can bring in, etc. etc. So it, money makes the world go round. Rios gets a yellow card 10 minutes into his debut. Concedes a free kick. Forrest, who used to play for us, well, didn't play, but we had him in the club, but I don't think he ever played for us. Right, so first highlight. Uh, luckily, didn't didn't uh, we didn't concede from it. Sorry, sometimes I get like a brain fart and I can't think what I'm saying. Oh, good save. Right, Swanson. Go on, Delhi. Oh, Delhi, come on. I pick you up all the time. Don't show me up. If they score from this now, I'm not going to be happy with you, Delhi. Delhi, Ali, come on. As soon as I can give him a telling off, I'm going to give him a telling off. Right, Delhi, you're getting berated for that. I don't care oh, how unhappy that makes you. Middleton, you're not playing well either. You need to be told off. You as well. I'm just going to tell all the, all the players off that are playing rubbish, I think. I think that needs to be done. There are some players that are doing well. And then there's some that are doing really bad. And letting the team go. And they need to be told off. And they'll probably concede another goal now because they're down tools. 
because you know what football players are like now when you tell them off they don't react how you want them to they react the opposite way the good old days of the 90s and the, the 80s and the 90s and all that where you told a player off and it inspired them to play better are over young people don't think like that anymore I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's probably a good thing that they don't they don't they, they, they don't put up with it but yeah right let's see if we can get back into this game Right, Middleton's coming off. He's been terrible. If I can terminate his loan, I will terminate his loan. Joseph, you can come on. Uh, right, Deli Ali, you can come off, no actually there's, there's a worse player than him, Ennis you can come off, Uchi can come on for you, come on Uchi, my super sub, keep us in the game, I really don't want to lose this, come on, ah, oh. It's a really big money maker, this Scottish Cup thing. I want to at least get through a couple of rounds. Come on, Maldini. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Right, fire up. I'm hoping for the best here. Very attacking. Come on. No, oh, no, we're not going to get. We're not going to get anywhere here. Ah, oh, such a shame. Oh, we get a bit of money, even despite the fact that we didn't win. How much do we get? I don't know, let's do this first. Cheek that I've got to ask for a bloody new contract after that. Yeah, I guess seven million. You know, I've still got a very good way, a very good uh, bank balance, but we really could have done with a, a decent cup run um, I think the only thing we've got left now is the, the Scottish Premier we're not in any of the cups now so um, yeah we've just got to concentrate on the league now right then I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode Right, and we're back for the final part of the episode. We'll just quickly go through these inbox items. Uh, we are coming towards. Ah, uh, see, they're not happy about that. That might that might come back to bite us in the bum. I hope I don't get sacked because I didn't do well there. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I just got that sinking feeling that they're going to sack me because of that now. Hopefully not. Uh, we didn't get John Swift because he's injured. I know, insufficient funds, that's fine. Adini, out for five, 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 five weeks. We managed to sign Michael o over, over Femi, so that's good. Liam Shaw rejected the move. Actually, I quite like Liam Shaw, so we'll just leave it. If we get a decent offer, I'll accept it, but I'm happy with that. Oliver Burke would rather go to... Did I say he was 25? For some reason I said earlier in the episode that he was 20. He's, I can't believe he's only 25. He's 28. Sorry, everyone. But yeah, he went to Ross County instead of us. Okay, that's good. Is that automatic? Yep, yeah, that's good. Can we get him on a new contract? I think we can. <gasps> oh, that's expensive. Uh, massive dent to our wages, but... He is my uh, he is he is my boy, so I've got to give him more money. Oh, I've got, I just got I've got a feeling that we've got a uh, we've got a few players that will get a boost to thirty five grand because I think they've got like a matching wage clause or something stupid like that. So we'll see. It's all fun. We'll we'll figure it out as we go along. Thomas since not happy. I'll see if I can sell him. Uh, 
Right, we've got... Who have we got? St Mirren, who are second in the bloody Scottish Premiership at the moment. Yeah. Cardiff. Shall I go and... Shall I go and uh... No, I won't. Don't worry, I'm only joking. Cardiff, and then... I've never heard of these. What league's that? Oh, Italian. Italian Italian B League team, basically. I like their kits, though. That looks like a... Doesn't look like a typical name for an Italian team, does it? they got some decent players. Uh, would be an interesting one if I was doing it as a journeyman save. At the moment, I'm not. If I get sacked from Rafe Rovers, then I'll have to just... I think I'll just have to carry on and hope I can find another team. What what jobs are available at the moment if I was to leave? Not that I'm going to leave, but just curious. So we've got Botcham, Norwich City, Andorra. There you go. And go. Oh, look at that kit. That's a beautiful kit. That is that Andorra kit. Have they got any decent players? Oh, they've got a couple. Marino. Anyway, let's concentrate on this first. Let's hope that I don't get sacked. Actually, before I carry on, let me have a look at the job security. Let's see if I'm doing all right. We uh, get rid of that club, get rid of that Scotland, get rid of that Premier League. Oh no, wrong Premier League, where is it? Premiership, there we go. Now I'm fine, I'm secure. That's all that matters at the moment. Right, line up for the last game of the episode against St Mirren. We've got Castillo in goal, Rui is back as right back. Welsh and Warner in centre defence, Diarte on the left, Rios and Ball in the middle of midfield, Ince on the right, Maldini in the middle, Musky on the left, and Hoyland back up front. Let's see how he gets on. Yeah, I think that last game, that Scottish Cup game, our assistant manager automatically rotated players, so I'll have to be aware of that next next season. Oh. Oh, hey, up. Come on, ref. Yeah, good. That would have been a disaster of a start to be 1-0 down after one minute. Uh, I've got a feeling they're going to nick the ball off us here. I just feel like it's one. There we go. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, got it back there. Go on, ball. Well done. Fair play. Hoyland coming all the way in the middle to get the ball. Oh, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. I think that was Ince, wasn't it? You're definitely getting sold now. I just feel like the quality is not there at the moment. It's uh, it's really missing. The play of the confidence as well is not helping. Rue. Oh, lucky. Mm. Ince. With the corner. As always, goes straight to the keeper. It's been a, a few highlights already after, and we only played 10 minutes. Rue and Warner playing exceptionally well by the looks of it. Musqui, not so much. I've um, read, ready for my Uganda save. I've ordered this Uganda national team football shirt. Well, I thought it was the actual legit football shirt, but it was a, it ended up being a concept shirt. But it looks very cool. So I don't mind. I feel like I've overpaid for it though. But at the end of the day, I don't mind. Right, can we get something out of this game? I'd rather get... I don't really particularly want another draw. I really would like a win. Come on, can we get a win? Rias, you're knackered, you can come off. Uh, Deli Ali. Warner, you're knackered, so Ramirez can come on. Right, I need to do some tinkering with the tactic because Deli Ali doesn't play in that position, so I need to pull him up a bit. Uh, that one. Yep, so we'll leave him there. Hopefully that will help. Right, oh, they've got a corner. Whew, 
and off for that. I don't feel like we deserve to lose this game. I don't think we deserve to win it either. It's one of them. I think a draw would probably be a fair result in hindsight. But by the looks of it, they'll probably score from this high right now. Unless we get a lucky break out of nowhere. Mm. Ah, as expected. Ah oh dear. Probably gonna get another one now just to take the just to put insult to injury. Passing it around nicely here with no pressure. None of our players doing anything about it. Oh I stand corrected. Go on Ennis. Oh, Maldini with a loop of the ball. But they get it back. Ah give us a bit of false hope there and now they're gonna score from this, aren't they? Yeah, probably. Oh, good save. Right, their corner. Taking their time. Really taking their time now. Come on. Ref, come on. They're taking the mick here. Oh, what a waste, but obviously that's what they're doing. Doing a bit of time wasting now. They're throwing. I'm going to have to rest rest some players after this game. I think I think they're, they're all knackered. They just all look tired. Oh, here we go. Ennis. Can we get a late, late, late equaliser here? Probably not, but we'll see. Oh, Musquee. Oh, we hit the bloody post. How unlucky is that? Right, 1-0. Not the best way to end an episode. Um, yeah, Hoyland, you're playing rubbish. You haven't scored in ages. What is up with him? He hasn't scored in like a ridiculous amount of games now. Yeah, goal the streak now spans 14 matches. 14 matches. Right then, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back um, with the next episode. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. All the best. Bye.